you get one kid in the show. Every rock show, you get one kid that's just doing this the entire show. And just wants you to be like, hey. Or like, yeah. or like. <laughs> the new version of Vulnerable has ten more tracks that we added on. There's four unreleased tracks, there's three acoustic tracks, and there's remixes that our friends did for us. We recorded these three songs, or the four songs that didn't make the record, during the session of Vulnerable, and um, they just didn't kind of fit the vibe of the record. So we f still feel like they're great songs and they deserve to be heard, and we encourage everyone to go and steal the record from Walmart. The record was kind of written a lot differently than we usually write. We usually kind of sit and hash out drums, bass, and guitar. And The majority of this record was written specifically on a keyboard with more of uh, drum loops and bass lines in mind for, for vocal experimentation. At this point now, like, we can get away with writing a song in many different ways. So, I mean, it's nice for us to just kind of get together and go, okay, let's write it out now. Let's not set up mics and do the whole drum thing and the guitar thing, let's just record it now. So, the ideas come faster and... I think circumstantially too, we were all in a different place during the making of the record and for some reason I had just had this creative moment that, that was really explosive and... So I was getting a lot done in a short amount of time and so we were writing in the studio and kind of taking what we we loved our influences hip-hop um, drum beats and um, loops and maybe pop songs and old R&B and funk elements of songs and you know then seeing how Quinn's guitar really fit into those ideas as well we love outcast we love the feeling of, of a, a good outcast song how it seems really upbeat and positive and I think that Shine was inspired by a couple R. Kelly songs. <laughs> Definitely has a hip hop kick in the end of it. We love James Brown in our band and we kind of wanted to make something that felt positive and not silly and not cliche, but still was bold enough to say things like, it's my time to shine again. We wrote that song for Twitter. <laughs> we wrote it for a lot of the social media this song's a beautiful love song about um, kind of giving in to those explicit romantic emotions and, and romanticizing love in every single way that I can. You know, we're all, we're all married now and we understand what it is to be happy with and without someone at this point in our lives. So to kind of take it to the edge and push these lyrics to the, to, to the limits of, of um, maybe cliche and corny words, encompassing that like true heartfelt feeling that you get when you're in love. It's got special interviews from quite a few bands that we've toured with. Lots of stuff with Brandon and explaining the whole thing and what went down with our, our first drummer, Brandon, and just kind of a look back at everything that's gone on, maybe a autobiography, if you will. We're going to finish up the Take Action Tour and hopefully in March we're going to make some new music and record some and get some out and then keep touring. We're doing the Warp Tour again and then in the fall there's talk of doing a opening up for bigger bands. Please take us out, Jane's Addiction and Alice in Chains. If not, we'll do our own headlining tour and we're just going to keep touring. And I'm moving to Australia. Peace out, America. Mm -hmm.